Hello colors, welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest transfer stories. We start with this report claiming that Guido Rodriguez of Real Betis is gaining weight as potential Busquets replacement at Barcelona. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Secondly, in this episode, talking about Ilkay Gondigan as a report is claiming that the Premier League playmaker is now very close and have decided to join Barcelona. We are also going to be discussing more on that. So guys, as we get right into the full stories, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Barcelona have made some very important steps in their bid to sign Vitor Roche as Xavi Hernandez looks to beef up his options in the attacking department. But another priority for the Barcelona coach is to sign a new defensive midfielder following the exit of Sergio Busquets, although the club have no shortage of midfielders. Xavi is looking for a reliable number 6 that can fill in the shoes of Busquets next season. Barcelona had targeted multiple options in the transfer market, but their options have been shrinking lately. Ruben Neves looks set to move to Saudi Arabia, while Sofian Amrabat is reportedly keen on joining rivals Atletico Madrid. Barcelona's other options such as Martin Zubimendi and Joshua Kimmich could prove to be too expensive for the club as well. The club, therefore, are now exploring a deal for Guido Rodriguez. This has been reported by Sport, which suggests the player is rated quite highly by the Barca boss Xavi. He wants the Argentine to fill the number 6 slot at Camp Nou next season especially following the players' impressive performances in La Liga over the past few years. With Rodriguez's contract expiring in 2024, Real Betis could look to offload him this summer. But the report adds that FC Barcelona are yet to make any concrete move for the player. There is a possibility that the Blaugrana will add some quad players into the equation in order to loan or to lower the price tag of Rodriguez. Nico and Abde El Zazuli are two of the Barca players rated quite highly by the Real Betis um, and could enter the operation for Rodriguez, whose market value now stands at 28 million euros. In the meantime though, Barca are focusing on completing the capture of Roche and Ilkay Gondogan who is expected to make a decision on his future later this month. Of course, Guido Rodriguez have been linked with Barca these past few days and of course, as Barca push for a new DM to replace Busquets, of course, we all know that the top two choices of Xavi Hernandez have been lost, talking about Zoe Mendy and Joshua Kimmich. And Barca now are looking for players that they never wish to have, but they're just taking it in the order of preference. Sofian Amrabat, who was third choice, another blow came out that, you know, the player wants to join Atletico as Barca continued to be so slow in doing things. And of course, he is not patient enough to wait for Barca because Barca are taking him not even for first choice nor third choice but they are taking him for their third choice and that is why definitely they are not even putting so much interest to pushing a possible move for him. So as it stands Barca now want to look go for see for, for Rodriguez, Guido Rodriguez, the Argentine who plays for Real Betis. The player wants to join the club according to reports. His contract at Betis expires next year. And Barca believe that they can sign him for a very reasonable price, knowing that Betis might not exaggerate the price, given that the club, you know, the, the player's contract expires next year. But, of course, I can't say about this guy so much because I don't know him. I don't know his style of play. Um, the, the honest truth is, if Barca really want to go for a new DM to replace Busquets in that pivot, definitely it should be a good player. It should be a quality player. We need to be going higher and higher, not like we're going to look for any player just because there should be there should be a human being playing that pivot role next season. 
we need a good player, not just a player. We need a quality DM, you know. So I just hope that Barca going for this guy, pushing for his signature, he shows that the guy, he has qualities to play there because Xavi is fond of just taking somebody in because he wants to fill that role. He needs somebody there. You know, there are certain players that they might not fit the profile of the Barca style of play. You know, so let's let's not show our let's not be so desperate that everybody knows that we need DM, and Betis can even add any kind of price there, and it won't surprise me. Even though nothing has been said so far about um, the, the the players price that will be demanded, you know, but Barcelona are looking to try to try their best to ensure that a new DM should come, at least. A new DM should come because currently they are also in negotiations with an, an interior midfielder like Ilkay Gondogan. You know, as the move for the player still looks very, very promising at this point in time. Then moving on to the next story of discussion, in a positive development for FC Barcelona, Mundo Deportivo is reporting that the La Liga champions are getting very close to signing Ilkay Gondogan this upcoming summer. Gondogan's current contract with Manchester City expires at the end of the month, that is on June 30, and Barca have been working so hard on his signing for a long time now. The Catalans have tabled an improved three-year deal offer recently to the German sensation, but are competing with City, who wish to keep hold of him. Amidst the talk of war, Gondogan had asked the Black Runner, for more time to make a decision on his future. Now, as per the report, Gondogan's agent sent messages to the Barcelona camp last night, hinting that the midfielder would be willing to accept their offer and a definite answer should not be much longer away. The La Liga champions wish to sign the 32-year-old midfielder due to his free agency status as well as the versatility and the experience that he brings to the table. Director of football Matteo Alemani has been in talks with Ikai Gondogan's agent lately, while Xavi has been in charge of speaking to the player himself one-on-one -on, -one on phone. The report adds that the interactions between the player and the manager were very, very positive and productive, and that the midfielder had reached a verbal agreement over a transfer but with Man City offering him in improved terms, doubts have crept in within the Catalan camp. Furthermore, Arsenal too had been pushing for his signing, while offers came from Saudi Arabia as well. But despite all of that, Barca are now very confident and optimistic that Gondogan will sign for them, especially after receiving positive messages from his agent last night. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.